Hello everyone. Welcome as we play Kerbal Space Program. We're gonna start a whole new thing. Whole new thing. Um, start new. Uh, we're playing career mode this time because it's new. It's all great. So let's get straight into it. Bill, Control V. Okay, good. I got it. The science guy. See, it's it's Bill Pie, the science guy. You get it? You get it? I hope you do. And we're gonna choose uh, Blorbs. Yeah get this all over with because I messed up the last recording but it's okay yeah it's okay yeah yeah okay 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 let me just, let me just look at something here for a second yeah yeah okay yeah sorry now then we are looking at I'm completely confused oh look 25,000 okay I have no idea what I'm doing um I have no science points what's this what the fuck are you? This is new. Uh, okay, okay. Um, outsourced R and D. Appreciation campaign. Recovery transpondo fitting. I feel less like an engineer and more like a manager. Okay, okay, okay. Um Uh do, 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 do. Bum, 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 bum. What does this do? <laughs> and then prove our image by putting some effort into reminding Kerbals everywhere of just how great the space program is. Advertisement space isn't free, however. Yields one reputation for each third. 23 funds. Okay, uh. Yeah. Yeah, what's this? Why do all the data crunching ourselves when we can contract external research labs to help us process the data we receive? These services aren't exactly cheap, but the R&D facilities are very impressive. And what's this one? Cover transponder fitting. Covering parts landed. Far away from the space center can be very costly, but I reckon we can reduce this cost by installing better transponders on the parts we launch. These units are not cheap, but they should make it much easier to find parts, improving the recovery value even if they're halfway around Kerbin. What do you say? I say yes to this. Do you, like, do I increase this? Or? Yeah. Uh, that's a lot of money, though. I don't think I can do that yet. So first things first, let's just, what's this? Launch a new vessel, okay, okay, so here's mission control. So I guess this is like where my uh, quests are. Launch a new vessel, okay, so prestige, travel, objectives, launch a new vessel, incomplete, uh, rewards, a little bit of money, a little bit of respect, a little bit of science, yeah, yeah. Um, failure is not so good. I don't know how I f would fail that. I'm pretty good at launching things. The part, the landing is the hard part. Set altitude records of 5,000 meters. That shouldn't be too hard. Escape the atmosphere. Orbit Kerbin. Yeah, I, I can do all that. Yeah, look fine. Yeah, accept this shit. And uh, I guess, I, do I want to accept this? Like, do I have to do it right away? Like, how long do I have until it's considered a fa failure? And if we apparently had no clue to what to do next, so we now need your help. I'll just say yeah. Expire is never. I don't see how I could f fail. Fail. Fa I don't know. Shut up. I can't. Uh, d -d 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 and then we have these. Yeah, Kerbin. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of this. Um, bup, 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 Ah, let's just do it. Here we are, everybody. First off, command pod. So we need people. And then we have rockets and we have fuel. Um, I like the fuel tank. Let's get some fuel up in here. Uh, gosh, how much is this gonna cost? This is probably gonna cost a lot. How much have we spent? This much? Okay, yeah, no, that's fine. Um, 
we don't have as much as far as the way of uh, okay and parachutes we need some we definitely need some parachutes we have nothing to detach this that's not good wanted something to detach but I guess we don't we don't get the luxury of that I want more parachutes if this is the case yeah I want this and oh god that's it um, it's not it's not gonna look super good but you know I mean I I don't know, do you think this could go 5,000 meters? I think this could go 5,000 meters. We've got pretty much nothing holding it up, though. Hmm. 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 I kind of want it to be a little bit more easier to land, so, uh... Uh, I think another three would be fine. Let's make this bad boy easier to land by adding these. Not really a snap. Let me get the snaps. Yeah. There, now it should be easier to land. Um, it's mostly for landing purposes. And another thing we could do is... Parachutes, would you go? Now, we'll get 8,000 from this. I don't know how much money we're really getting, but... You know, we need to set this, of course, up. So let's do that. Um, which one gets launched first? I believe it's the bottom one. Yeah, I think. Pretty sure, yeah. Okay, so who are my contracts? Launch a new vassal. Alright, vessel. Vassal. <laughs> Set an altitude record of 5,000 meters. That won't be too hard. No, 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 no. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's just save. Like. I don't know. First. Just, you know, yeah. Yeah, you know. There we go. Launch. Let's see how this goes, everybody. Yeah, we're gonna launch a thing. We're gonna launch some. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh good, Jebediah's in. Okay, I was afraid I had forgot to put Son in. I was worried a little bit. Now, if only I can remember the controls. That's okay. That's that's that. That's that. Okay. Shift increases it. Control decreases it. So, shit, we didn't get 5,000 meters up, unfortunately. It's hard to control because it's, um... Oh, there goes that. Screw it. We launched the vessel, but we didn't get 5,000 meters, I'm afraid. Oh, well. I thought I could do it, couldn't. It's too hard to control. We have no wings. Uh, we have no wings and we have no uh, control thing. So you know, I'm, I don't want to take take the risk on getting anyone killed. I'll have to have to. I knew I shouldn't have taken that contract. I knew it was going to be tougher than it looked, and it didn't look very tough. So we're falling down. These parachutes still have not like done anything yet. Okay, I, I slowed it down a little bit just in case. I mean, I think these things are supposed to launch at 500 meters, so I think technically they worked out just fine. We're going a little bit into the shallow water, so we're not super close to the carbon space place, but that's probably for the best to not be close, because now you can crash into buildings. So uh, we don't want to break anything, so, you know, I'm not going to do that. There's some islands over there we could have. We could probably done. Wait one sec. Uh, crew report, what's it like? Cool, cool, okay, I like it. So we're keeping that data. Um, and then once we land, I think we're going to get another crew report. Report. Bum, bum, bum. Report. Look at, look at that water that you can see. Okay, so everything pretty much broke. But hey, this guy's pretty fine, right? What's it like? What's it like in the water? Keep that data. I get back in there. Abort, recover vessel. Yeah, we're going to recover this vessel. Might cost a little bit of money, but I think we like it. So let's look at what we did here. 
So the crew report while flying over Kerbin's waters. This is pretty good. Uh, EVA report while flying over Kerbin's waters. Yeah, you know. Recovery of a vessel that survived a flight. Yeah, it's, it's super good. Um, parts. We got some of these, so, you know. Uh, it gives us money back, I guess. Um, and he's... Jebediah's fine. Jebediah's like, that was fun. I like it. He's got no uh, no extra reputation, though, I'm afraid. I think that was a major success. Good job, everybody. Good job. Uh, how's my mission going, though? I still need to do that. I guess I got the last one's money completed. So, yeah. Um, test MK-16 parachute in flight over Kerbin. Oh. M-16. MK-16? Expires one day, 18 minutes. Like, in-game? Yeah, I guess it's in-game. So, those are something. These never expire. <sighs> so, let's see. Um, these are gonna be kinda tough. And we don't wanna, f uh, f fell them. Fell. I say fell, and it's like, Fail. I can't. Uh, uh. Okay. Contact. Contract test TR 18A stack decoupler in flight over Kerbin. I do want decouplers. I do want decouplers. Um, test MK 16 parachute in flight over Kerbin. Research and development department. That doesn't seem too hard. To perform the test, activate the part through the staging sequence when all test conditions are met. Okay, okay. Test MK 16, Kerbin. Uh, flying um, altitude of 14,600 meters to 18,600 meters speed 340 meters to 740 meters oh that's a lot that's a lot you really want me to get up there I don't think I can do that one yet um, I won't accept these contracts just yet or maybe they don't expire until I start them I don't know but I want to research this so I can have these decouplers. Because darn it, decouplers are the, are the bomb, man. They're the bomb. They're the bee's knees. And flying's also super good. Let me check something here, though. This is the MK-16, so I already have that. Um, I want wings super bad. How much science do I currently have? 14, so not enough. Survivability. So landing struts, I do want those. And these are better parachutes. I like them. Oh, it takes 15 research. Uh, okay, fine. Boom. Okay, new spaceship. Uh, I have some decouplers now. So, let's uh, let's just start a whole new one. Okay, boom. Got you. I got you, girl. Shoo. Decouplers. Boom. Oh, I don't know. That, I want at least... One tank on here. Just one. Just one. Yeah. 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 Uh, and then, uh, of course, one of these. And, and then a decoupler. Um, struts. 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 Could have sworn I had struts. Oh, I had. That was the survivability thing. I don't have struts yet. Okay, I forgot. Oh, well, I'm still going to have that one. And as for parachutes. Hmm. Let me look here. So this game's really gonna make you want to have, uh, like, to keep your parts. So I don't think it's a good idea to like necessarily like you're gonna not want to decouple them because you want to keep the parts and you won't be able to because it's like nope, screw you. Aerodynamics. Oh, I don't have aerodynamics. Shoot. I have no way of controlling this bad boy. I have decouplers, and that's about it. Decouplers are cool. That's about it. Oh, I really wanted those aerodynamics. I'm just going to have to launch another guy up in there and hope he lives. This is going to be great. I'm going to like it. People are going to like it. People are going to love it. People are going to think, oh, that's the bee's knees. Um, how are we going to do this? And then, of course, put the parachute on the thing. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum.
Boop. Nope. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go, boy Billy. There we go. Probably would be better to use a solid state rocket rather than the liquid fuel engines. Uh for one thing it's way cheaper. Its mass is more, its drag's more, its crash tolerance is the same, and its thrust is better. So actually, you know what? Let's let's get rid of these. Let's just get rid of let's just get rid of all that. Let's use these instead. I feel like I'm being wasteful. Like these I can I can lose these, it's fine. Only problem is I can't really control it, so I need to wait till it runs out of fuel. Um before I do anything. That is the bad part. But just in case, let's put some parachutes on there. Yeah. Oh, it really is a bad part. Oh, well. So we have these going first. And then... You know, I might put these up. These might these these might happen at the same time I, I let go of it. Just so that way it's like... These will fall and not be too... Like, th they might survive. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's smart. Bill thinks it's a smart idea. Bill, You know, Bill Bill's... Bill's a smart guy. Bill knows what he's doing. Put some of this. Not, not, not three. One. One of these right here. And one of these, just so we can do more science. Because science is cool. And, you know, I might, let's do two. The reason we're doing two is though that once is in the air, the other one's on the ground. Um... Um, Omega, we are D zero zero M D I D K. My BFF Jill. Save. Gosh, I'm so scared of this flight. Uh oh my God, I'm so dead. You're so dead, Jebediah. Oh my God, you're so dead. Oh my God, Jebediah, you're gonna die. Okay, let's get started. It doesn't really matter what this is set to. No, Jebediah, no. Jebediah, stay going straight up. Jebediah, no. Jebediah, no, no. Jebediah, no, no. Jebediah, no. No. No, Jebediah, you have to wait till all the fuel runs out before you... No. No. Keep going. Keep leaning up. Keep leaning up. We did it. Jebediah, we did it. Okay, now I think that thing just exploded. I have no idea what this thing's facing like. Ah, oh, shit, I forgot about that. Observe the mystery goo. Yeah, let's keep that down, Dada. And, uh... So I fucked up. And forgot to make the parachute a different thing. So, that's my bad. And, I want to EVA him, hoping that he's doesn't fall out like I'm afraid he will. Oh, fuck, I'm, I'm scared to do so. But wasn't that fun, Jebediah? Wasn't that just extreme? But, you know, I feel regretful not accepting that one mission with the parachute. I really should have accepted that mission with the parachute. Jebediah, why didn't you tell me to accept that mission with the parachute? Jebediah. Jebediah, no, no, Jebediah, why, why? God, I can't control this shit, like I... I've got to remember to look at the ball and not the, uh... Spaceship. I don't want to EVA him so bad. Well, let me just take a crew report. I'm not going to EVA him, not while we're falling like this. I think it's too risky that he'll let go. 
And this is career mode, so, you know, it's like everything matters. Nothing else matters. Okay. So it said in the, uh, um, that one mission, it wanted it to, like, be a certain speed and also be at a certain altitude before I push the parachute out. Is this the same stuff? Um, let's reset the experiment. Bum, 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 bum. You know, it's a good show, Code Lyoko. That show is pretty good. Uh, okay, ooh, that's, this is good, this is good. I might be able to get him out at this point. Maybe. I don't know, should I? I can't trust him. I really can't trust him. Uh, yeah, we're keeping this data. Hey, I can see my house from here, I think. Yeah. I was hoping not to fall in water again, but I guess we're going to do that. Yeah, I'm going to need to pick up that debris. Um, I could detach the parachute if I want to, but I don't because I've only got one parachute. I don't want to override it. I want to do this, though. Okay, and then EVA, EVA report, keep data, F, and then we're going to recover the vessel, vessel, darn it. Does it cost money to do this? I think it does, but it doesn't say. So let's see how good we did. Crew report while flying over Kroven. Grassland, pretty good, pretty good. EVA report while flying over Kerbin's grassland. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. Uh, mystery goo observation while flying at Kerbin. Mystery goo observation from Kerbin's grassland. Uh, recovery of a vessel that survived a flight. Parts. We got a lot of parts. Um, oh, did we get those those debris that we uh, parachuted off? I think we might have. Uh, no, I don't think we did. Let me, uh, uh, it doesn't show from here, does it? Oh, well, that shows. That's first debris, though. Where's the debris from the other stuff? I'm just getting all this stuff, apparently. Okay, there, I got it all. Where's that other stuff, though? that I parachuted down to make sure it was safe and happy. It might not have survived. I don't know. What's this? Okay. Let me look at this. See if, uh, nope. No debris showing up. Well, no debris. Okay, well, I guess the stuff I parachuted just is gone. It's gone. It's dead. I, I killed it. Brutally murdered. No, 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 no. Back up, back up, back up. I want to uh, do some science. So first of all, aerodynamics. I want these. I want these so good, girl. I want them so good. Yes, I do. I'm taking them. And then another thing I would like, not so much the rocket fuel as I would like these for landers and landing and all this good stuff. So I'm taking that. Uh, now, now we're good. Now I'm pretty freaking sure we can fill these contracts up like nobody's business. Look at all these contracts we're getting. So many people just want me to do everything for them, don't they? Um, let me look at these. I don't see how you can fell these because they never expire. Like seriously, how do you fell these? Now then, uh, test Mark II R radial mount parachute in flight over Kerbin. Okay, and what's this one? Test LV T47 liquid fuel engine in flight over Kerbin. Okay. Um, activate the part through the staging sequence. Conditions are met. Kerbin flying altitude. Okay, so it wants me to set it at a certain altitude, um, at a certain speed. 
and this one also wants altitude and a certain speed. What is that? Here it is. I want to accept this. What does it want? Altitude 14600 to 18600, and also speed 340 to 740. Okay, so let's get higher than that, and then just drop dramatically, terribly. Fall, fall, fall. Hopefully we don't go faster than it wants. I don't know. I guess I could always use some thrusters. Why does it want me to, like, start it at those, those things? Bum, 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 bum. I like this one. This one's nice. This one's easy. Landed. Did I exit? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Because I accidentally pressed right click. Deadline 1U. Oh. Oh, I get way longer to do it then. It's just it expires in my research thingamabob here. Expires. Duration. So I've got plenty of time to do these. She. I just take all these. Cause they've got a duration of one year. I'm not I'm not worried. Now the rest of these, I might as well just do this one. And uh, maybe this one. I don't know about that. Uh, you know, whatever. I'll do it. Sure. It has no deadline. So, I have no idea how I can fell these. Apparently I can't. Get up in my chair. Okay. Let's look at our missions. What are our missions, sir? So first, let's test the LV-909 liquid fuel engine, which is... I guess these are the new parts, I don't know. Um, the liquid fuel engine. And what does it want us to do exactly with that? Land it? Yeah, it wants us to land with it. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do a new one. Yep, completely new. Um, and of course, this is our only thing we can have. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Parachute. Uh, I need this parachute. Um, I also need these parachutes. So, yeah. Not now. Uh, M16 parachute in flight. Altitude 14600 to 18600 meters. Speed must be 340 meters per second. I need to test these in the flight over curve, and I can't test all of these at once, unfortunately. Uh, I would like to. I'd make a lot of money. Now, one thing I think I can do um, is work with this lander here. I can definitely use this. Uh, and with that, I will... Hopefully, I'm, I'm hoping that a bunch of things just happen automatically. Uh, wouldn't that be great? Put this down, like four of these. Uh, put three down. I want to land though, on land, not on water. So that's one big thing about it. Also, this time, let's try to make sure that I remember that uh, the parachute's the last thing to go off. Duh, gosh. Whoever was the wise idiot that did that last time. God, what an idiot. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I don't know what else to say. Uh, I hit that, that rider's block, you know, the good stuff. Oh, that good stuff. Mm -hmm, that good, uh, I like it. Mm. I like to get two of those, be special. Extra special. Some wings, so I can fly this bad boy out of there. Uh, I might need, like... I don't know if three wings is a smart idea, but it's an idea, and Bill's going for it. And uh, then I guess decouplers would be nice. Right here. Um, more rocket fuel, of course, so I can go up even higher. 
Now, what did that one thing want me to do? It said to test the t -t 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 test rocket max back solid fuel. Is that what this is? Is it? Did it say RT10? BACC solid fuel booster. Oh wait, maybe it's this. No. Here it is. And filled with a new, even more volatile fuel, the BACC offers semi-reliable performance at a good price. And it wants me to start that that sucker off at 7,400 meters. So it has to be something that's secondary. It can't be my major thing. What else? Test RT-10 solid fuel boosters, which is that one. At another altitude, which is an even higher altitude, really. Um, test Serpatron, altitude 8100, WTF. Test TR-18A stack decouplo, altitude 1500 to 7700. Uh, I'll probably get that one. Radial decoupler, okay. And the radial decoupler is this one. It wants me to side this one up super high. Oh gosh. Um. Okay. Let me see what I can do here. Just doing whatever I feel like it. Hmm. Let's get a decoupler on this baby. No. I need some this bad boy then a decoupler did I put that decoupler away when I put it I don't know I don't care anymore put that right there and then I'm gonna put some of these up on here and with that I'm gonna put uh, this on the sides here maybe maybe not one second let me move these there we go so now those are nice and happy, happy peoples. Then we're going to put some aerodynamics on these bad boys. Oh god, I'm so screwed. Uh, you know, let's let's put something else there. This is some hard, difficult stuff. But don't worry, I'm a scientist. That should help a little bit to keep it away. Um, other than keeping it away. So, these things are going to go off. Then the decouples are going to cut those bad boys off and take this on. And this should this should start up right away, actually. Should I make that start up? Yeah, let's make that start up right away. And then this is going to start up right away when it decouples. Yeah? No. Yeah? No. No, I'm going to make this separate. Uh, then this will go off. Then this will go off. And these landers I'll just have to do manually, of course. What else do I need to do? Some other thing. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's just do some solid state boosters here. Ah, uh, this is so crazy looking. Oh god, this is not going to work. This is going to be terrible. Screw it. Like, so much money is going into this. Ah, I'm going to get so much hate. I'm going to get so much hate. Um, what's it going to be called? It's going to be called... So much hate. There we go. It's nice. It's happy. People say it and they don't like it. They like it. People love it. People love the hell out of it. What am I going to do with this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And what about these? There. Just, just because. Just because. Just because. Just because. Just because. Um, just because. Like, what am I even testing at this point? I don't even know. Something. It looks pretty sexy, I mean, in all fairness, it's pretty sexy looking. There. I mean, yeah, it's pretty sexy, uh, but what am I gonna, like, what's my major test here? My major test is probably the parachute. 
probably the liquid fuel engine. But I do like the parachute. Test MK-16 parachute and flight over Coven at 14600 to 18600 while falling at 340 meters per second. So we're going to have to go way over that. So let's launch this sucker, see how bad we do. We still have no way to control it very easily. So that's always good. It's always nice. Oh god, I can feel it. I can feel the hate already. Oh, it doesn't fucking matter. Oh, I've gotta, I've gotta set this. These guys are another thing altogether. Like, you guys don't happen yet. And you. Boom. Maybe they should be, like, the same. There. I am so sorry, Jebediah. So far, so good, I guess. Like, I'm not trying to make this bad boy actually orbit as much as I am trying to just make it go up super freaking high and go into a different part of carbon. I think I'm actually going the exact wrong way to go, because if that's north, this way is east. Do I want to go east? Actually, I might be going the right way. Uh, the Earth rotates from... Let me think here. If the sun rises from the east, then which way is the Earth rotating? Pretty sure it's rotating east, right? Oh my god, I am so freaking sexy right now. Oh shoot, hopefully none of that stuff falls onto, uh... Oh yeah, we're keeping that. Um... Definitely keeping that. Uh... Now... I don't know if I can do any... Of, like, getting him out, because I got this stupid wing in the way. Uh, I can try, but... God knows it'll be a pain. So here I am. I'm launching off of... Africa. Essentially. Oh shoot, I'm gonna need to guide this sucker a little bit more away, that way, north. So from what I can tell, I'm definitely going the wrong way. Definitely went the wrong way. Yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going west. I'm supposed to go east. I thought I was going east. Apparently I was not. So, he should slow down a little bit due to uh, friction in the air, but I don't know, he might be too much in orbit to do that. How do I see quests? Here's some quests. Escape the atmosphere, so that, that happened fine. Kerbin, flying. I mean, I think I'm flying. Altitude 10,500, and we are not at 10,500 yet. To 15,200, so let's do that. These other things we didn't get at all either. Like, they wanted us to launch them at certain points, and I did not. 18,000, and the other one is the parachute.
Now I'm doing a video. 15,200. And this one is... Yeah, so let's try to do that 15,200. Which, uh, as you can see, it's going to take some time. Take some time before we get there. Let's look at the map again, because I want to want to land on some land. So which way do I want to face to get to land? I want to go north. Still need to go more north. Let me go back. Okay, we're almost going to hit land, people. We're, we're doing it. We're doing it. We're doing it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready for some fun. Gotta make sure. I'm making sure. Pretty sure that's good. Now we just play the waiting game. I guess I can... Oh, shit. That was... That was faster than I thought. Uh, I don't remember how to increase speed. Oh, there we go. So now I've got to get that bad boy to about 1,500. 200. Like, 15,000. 200, right? Let me just check one more time. other one wanted it to be 15,200 at max. Yep, 15,200. <sighs> bum, 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 bum. I might be going too fast, though, for it to count. Which would be bad. I did it at fifteen thousand two hundred. might not have been what right it counts why not WTF altitude 15,200 speed S speed may have been a little faster than, than normal I don't know darn it I don't, I don't understand these quests I, I'll, I'll figure it out eventually So observe the mystery goop. Uh, let's not do that one. Crew report? No, uh, I can't. I guess I can't. I really can't do it. It's like altitude. Yeah, definitely. It should have worked, right? So now we're in the desert. Beautiful desert. I like it. There we go. Now, one thing it said about this one fuel it stay, uh, solid fuel thing here that I'm using, um, it said something about it needs to land. Like, it says landed. I don't know what that means exactly. Like, do I have to have it on the ground? Or I escape the atmosphere? Achieve orbit around comet? Cobit, not, not going to do that anytime soon. Bum, 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 bum. 
Here it goes, landed. So, I assume it just wants me to land with the, the thing. I don't think it wants me to shoot rocket fuel out while I'm on the land. But it might. It might. We'll test it. We've still got some left, so, you know, we can do that. And now we're in a beautiful desert. We're on Mars, as Jebediah thinks. Jeb we told Jebediah that we were going to Mars. He believes that this is Mars right now. He's like, this is way different. It's so inhospitable compared to what I'm used to. That's what Jebediah's thinking. It must be a whole new planet, but they have water. And we, we heard uh, that uh, that Mars has no water on it, so uh, we're thinking, oh my gosh, wow, what's, it's inhabitable. Maybe I can live on this planet after all. But as Jebediah doesn't know, that's nitrogen, liquid nitrogen, and that he can't actually drink it. No, I'm just kidding. I'm bullshitting with you. Uh... But seriously, um, we're going to have a good fun time here on Mars, also known as the desert, because it's not Mars, it's Kroban, we all know that. Look at, look at that shadow, look at that beautiful shadow, as it slowly falls. Oh, this is going to be slightly slanted, it might tip over, we might tip, might be a little tipsy, just a little bit. Boom, nope, we're good. Is everybody happy? Is everybody happy? Okay. Let's observe the mystery goo now that we're in the desert. Okay. The goo seems to hate it here. Yeah, it does. Keep data. EVA. Oh, I thought so. So I need to definitely get rid of this next time. Darn. Um, well, this is going to be good. We're going to keep this. Uh, I guess we're, st we're stuck here. We're stuck. I'm sorry you're stuck on Mars forever. It's okay, though. You'll be fine. As we recover the vessel. Yay! 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 Congratulations! Yay! Yeah! Crew report from Kroban's upper atmosphere. Yeah! Observation of Kroban's deserts. Yay! Mystery crew observation of Kroban's upper atmosphere. Yeah! Recovery of a vessel after a suborbital flight. It's really, really sciencey. And we recovered a lot of the parts, so that's good. Uh, it's very good. Uh, propellant, uh, liquid fuel, oxidizer. Definitely need to keep that. So yeah, this is, it's going to start making me want to build a ship that's very, what is this anyways? Why do we have like yellow and then green and then blue? I guess blue's the science, yellow might be reputation and green might be money. I don't know. What is this about? I don't even know. Okay, so... This is based off of, I guess, our reputation. Uh, we can likely raise some money by exploiting the attention that we get out of new successful ventures to remind the well-to-do Kerbals out there that we could use their support and the contents of their wallets. This is probably going to seem right, seen as a bit cheeky of us. There's a dog making a whimpery noise. I don't know if it's picking it up. Anyways, this is probably going to seem as a bit cheeky of us, so be prepared to face some backlash from the public. One funds for each one unit of reputation. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't doesn't give me the exact backlash likelihood. And this costs money. We've got a lot of money now. Um, what does this do? Yields one reputation for each 23 funds. Uh, takes 5% funds income. Okay, so we lose reputation but gain money. Uh, we lose money but gain reputation, I guess. Yeah. Uh, recovery transponder fitting. So, I kind of like this. Um, aggressive negotiations. We can get better deals with our suppliers by talk taking up a more assertive stance on our negotiations with them. They probably won't see this as a friendly move, but we can definitely have it our way if we press them. It's not as if we care what others think, do we? Okay, so we'd lose reputation, but we'd gain uh, funds. Plus, to vessel recovery factor, funds to launch costs. Huh. So it's like, is it worth it? It's not really worth it until you get right about you. <laughs> so it's worth it when you get really high up. Uh, 
I want us to get right about here. But then that costs so much money. We need the money. I don't know. Maybe not yet. We'll wait. Save up. You know, save up a little bit. I really do like these. Strut. Struts are very important. Um, more wings, more decouplers, more... Ooh, not unmanned things. That's always good. Don't have to uh, wor worry about anyone. Elevon. One. What does this do? Made from the finest materials at hand. These flight surfaces are guaranteed to operate while attached to the craft. However, studies have shown that a lack of atmosphere may slightly impede function. No refunds. Uh, batteries, that's always good, batteries. Um, better things. Some more science. I like science. Do you like science? I love science. Uh, but we don't have enough science to get the more science. Bill wants the more science, but it's not giving Bill the more science. Ugh. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're not going to get any of this, I'm afraid. We still need more science. Um... And as for my quests, they're confusing as, as a little confusing. Um, like this one here. Test LV900 liquid fuel engine. I could have sworn that we did this. Yeah, we did. No, to perform the test, the part through the staging sequence. Uh-huh. When all test conditions are met. We, we did that, right? Well, we did that. Like, why didn't it count as being done? I don't know. Maybe I should have launched it off a little bit. I don't know. Uh... I really don't know. The quest is a little weird. I don't understand them completely. And that's about it. As for everything else, I kind of like it. I kind of like... I didn't mean to do that. I kind of like the story a little bit. I kind of like what we're doing. Uh, I'm certainly trying my best not to kill people. So, you know, that's always... That always means something, I think. To do that. And we almost orbited Kurobin, uh, but I wasn't building for that. I was building for something else. So, we could try to be a little bit more selective and just single these things out. And try to do them. Research and development and all that. Okay, but I think this is the end of this uh, session of Kerbin Space Program. This was fun. We're doing, the, we're doing the career. We're being space astronaut people. Yeah. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a fantastical day.